Things do not get more simple and refreshing than a well-made gimlet. Hey friends, welcome back to John Dot Drinks. Today I want to make a gimlet. Um, this is actually going to be the first time I've made a gimlet, so I'm excited just as you are. This drink is very, very close to a daiquiri. Um, the only difference is instead of rum, we're going to be using gin. Now, the origins of the gimlet are a little foggy, but it's believed that it was invented by British sailors in the early 1800s. Um, sailors being well known and suspected to uh, contracting scurvy, um, they would have to drink citrus juices while on their voyages to prevent getting scurvy. What's the best way to have sailors drinking lime juice? You gotta mix it with alcohol. For quite a few decades, um, this would actually just be gin and lime cordial. Um, you can find that at your grocery store. I, if you're gonna do the lime cordial instead of lime juice, you can skip the simple syrup. Um, I think the lime juice and simple syrup just has is just ten times more refreshing and bright. Now, as this drink is very old, it eventually found its way into the Savoy Cocktail Book, um, one of the most classic tomes of cocktail recipes you can find, and one of the oldest too. And it's been a classic well for almost almost a good century now. Um, in the 80s and 70s, gimlets were often being made with vodka because that's just what was the in around that time. But over the past little while, gin has taken it back its rightful spot and is now the base spirit in a gimlet if you order a gimlet. Anyways, that is enough talk. Let's start mixing this drink. Now, the first thing I want to get in my shaker is half an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. Followed by that, we're going to do half an ounce of simple syrup. And then next we are gonna you do an ounce, two ounces and a half of gin. Today's gin of choice is Ungava. It's a local Canadian gin. Um, it is yellow, that is a thing. Um, it's just due to the botanical choice that they do in it, but it has no bearing on the flavor at all. This is just delicious. Next we can add our ice and shake until chilled. And then we're going to fine strain into our chilled glassware of choice. Next you can add a lime wheel and that is your gimlet. Alright, let's give our gimlet a try. Now the similarities to a daiquiri are definitely there. Lime sugar, but it's missing a lot of the sweetness where you get a daiquiri. This is more of a drier, forward taste. Uh, you got a little bit of that, you know, pine needle juniper taste to it. Definitely, depending on the different kinds of gin you can use, um, you can get all sorts of different botanical notes here. It's like a breath of fresh air, like walking through a fresh forest. Now, if you have a friend who enjoys gin, this is definitely a great cocktail to show them. Um, it's simple, it's super easy to make. Um, you only need one bottle. It's a great drink if you're just looking into getting to home bartending too. Just all around really enjoyable. Anyways, that is my gimlet. Um, please let me know in the comments below what's your favorite gin to make a gimlet with. Remember to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. But until next time, cheers!